Have you ever noticed how some people stay joyful, even when things are really tough? It's because they know something unusual. They know how to keep calm and let God handle their problems. Instead of worrying about things, we encourage you to be still and let the knowledge in this video deeply sink in. Don't forget to share this warm, comforting video with someone. Habakkuk 2, verse 20. But the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Beloved child, in this vast, bustling world, getting caught up in the noise and the hurry of everything around you is easy. But I'm here to tell you, right in the middle of all that noise, to take a moment and be still. Just be still and know that I am God. This is how I want you to think about it. Even in my holy place, where the essence of my presence dwells, there's a deep, encompassing silence. It's not just any silence, but one that speaks volumes. It's a silence that says, I am here. I am in control. I am watching over everything. This silence isn't emptiness. It's full of love, care, and my unending watchfulness over the earth and every single creation of mine. Now, I want you to apply that kind of silence to your life. It's not about ignoring the world or pretending that challenges don't exist. Instead, it's about finding a calm space within yourself, a space where you can pause and remember that, amidst everything, I am with you. In this silence, you'll find a different kind of joy and peace. It's not the kind that comes from things going your way or from the hustle and bustle of life. It's deeper than that. It's the peace that comes from knowing that, no matter what happens, you're not alone. I'm here, guiding you, supporting you, loving you. So when things seem overwhelming, when the noise of the world seems too much to bear, take a step back. Find a quiet spot, even if it's just in your heart, and let the world around you fade away for a moment. In that quiet, remember that I am God. I'm the one who created the mountains, the seas, and the stars above. And yet, with all that vastness, I'm also here with you in the quiet moments, offering peace and presence. Be still, then. Let your heart be calm. Let the worries of the day, the pressures, and the expectations fall away. In their place, let my peace fill you up. It's a peace that says you're known, you're loved, and you're never ever alone. This moment of stillness, this quiet in your heart, it's a gift. It's a reminder that no matter how busy or chaotic life gets, my presence is a constant. I am here always, so be still and let that knowledge sink in deep. It's in this stillness that you'll truly know I am God. Mark 4, verse 39. And he awoke and rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Peace, be still. 
and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Imagine being caught in the middle of a storm. The wind howls, the waves crash, and it seems like everything is out of control. It's scary, isn't it? In life, you'll find yourself in similar storms, not the ones with rain and thunder, but those of worries, doubts, and fears. These storms can make you feel lost and alone tossing your heart around with no end in sight. Now, there was a time when Jesus was in a boat with his disciples, and a huge storm hit. They were terrified, just like you might feel during your tough times. But here's what he did. He stood up, faced the storm, and said, Peace, be still. Just like that, Everything calmed down. The wind stopped, and the sea became as smooth as glass. His disciples were amazed, and they realized that with me, they didn't have to be afraid of any storm. I'm sharing this story with you because I want you to know that I'm with you in your storms, too. You might not see me physically in your boat, but I'm there. When things get overwhelming, when the worries seem too big, when you feel like you're sinking, speak to me. Just be still for a moment. Let my peace fill you up. You don't need fancy words or special rituals. Just talk to me like you would to a friend. Tell me about your fears, your dreams, your struggles. I'm here to listen, and I'm here to help. Remember, my peace isn't like the world's peace. It's deeper, stronger, and it lasts through anything. Dear child, next time you find yourself in the middle of a storm, remember my words. Peace, be still. Let them be a gentle reminder that you're not alone. I'm right here with you, ready to calm the winds and waves in your life. Together, we can face any storm. And remember, it's okay to seek quiet, to slow down, and to find moments of stillness. It's in those moments you'll hear my voice the clearest, whispering peace and calm into your life. Just like the sea obeyed and became calm, your heart can find rest in me. Trust me, lean on me, and let my peace fill you from the inside out. I'm always here, always ready to bring calm to your chaos. With me, you'll find the strength to face each day, no matter how stormy it may seem. Psalm 27, verse 14. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. I know it feels like a lot right now. You're looking around, seeing everything moving so fast, and sometimes, it just feels like too much. I get it. First off, take a deep breath. Really, do it. Breathe in, breathe out. Feels a bit better, right? That's a start. Now, let's talk about being still. I know it sounds simple, maybe too simple, but there's a lot to it. Being still doesn't mean doing nothing. It's about letting your heart rest for a moment. It's like when you're trying to listen to a friend in a noisy room. 
You need to tune out the noise to hear them, right? That's what I'm asking you to do. Tune out the noise and listen for me. I'm always speaking, always here, offering guidance, comfort, and love. But to hear me, sometimes you need to be still. Now about waiting for me. I know waiting is tough. It's like being in a long line at your favorite coffee shop, smelling the coffee, seeing everyone else with their cups, and you're just standing there, waiting. But think about it. When you finally get that coffee, how good does it taste? How much more do you appreciate it because you waited? That's a bit like waiting for me. The waiting part is hard, but it's also where you find strength you didn't know you had. It's where you learn about yourself, about patience, and about trust. Being strong isn't about flexing your muscles. It's about finding your inner strength when things get tough. It's about standing firm, even when you feel like sitting down. And guess what? You're not doing it alone. I'm right here with you, in every moment, cheering you on. Let your heart find strength. Not the kind that comes from outside, like compliments or achievements, but the kind that's already inside you. It's there, I promise. Sometimes, you just need to dig a little to find it. And remember, it's okay to wait. Waiting isn't wasted time. It's preparation time. It's growing time. It's you and me getting to know each other a little better. So, let's do this together. Be still, find your strength, and wait with a heart full of hope. Because I'm right here, and I've got great things in store for you. Zechariah 2, verse 13. Be silent before the Lord, all humanity for he is springing into action from his holy dwelling. Pause for a moment, dear child, take a deep breath, and let your heart find calm. It's important, now more than ever, to find a quiet spot within yourself. I know the world is loud, filled with so many voices, demands, and worries that can make you feel like you're caught in a storm. But in the midst of all that noise, I am here, whispering to your heart, be still and know that I am God. I see you. I see the hustle, the effort, and the struggle. It's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of life, to feel like you have to keep moving, keep pushing, just to stay afloat. But here's a little secret. In the quiet, in the pause, that's where you'll find me. That's where you'll feel my presence the most. Imagine standing by a serene lake early in the morning, when the world is just waking up and the surface of the water is perfectly calm. That's what it's like to be still and know me. It's in those quiet moments that you can sense my action, my moving in your life, even if it's not immediately visible on the surface. I am always at work in ways you might not always understand right away. From my holy dwelling, I orchestrate, guide, and provide. 
Just as the earth wakes each day to new possibilities, so too am I always creating, always bringing new beginnings and hope. Even when things seem unchanged, beneath the surface, my plans unfold. When the world feels too much, when the noise drowns out your thoughts, remember to be still. In that stillness, you're not alone. You're with me, and I am with you, working on your behalf, bringing about good things from my holy place. Let this be a gentle reminder to slow down, to find moments of silence in your day. It doesn't have to be long, just a few quiet breaths. Minute of letting your mind rest in me. In these moments, you're inviting me into your day, allowing me to fill you with peace, strength, and a reminder of my constant care. Remember, being still doesn't mean doing nothing. It means trusting me, leaning on me, and letting your soul find rest in my presence. It's a powerful act of faith, declaration that you know I am God, and I am with you. Therefore, let's try this together. Take another deep breath. Let it out slowly, and in the quiet of your heart, know that I am God. I am here, moving, acting, and bringing peace to your soul. Psalm 107, verses 28 to 29. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He made the storm be still, and the waves of the sea were hushed. Always keep in mind that I am here for you whenever life seems to be too much for you to handle, or when the noise that is all around you gets overpowering. Think about those times when everything seemed against you, when the waves of your worries seemed too big to handle. Just like I calmed the sea and hushed its waves, I'm here to bring peace into your life, to quiet your fears and ease your mind. Life can throw a lot at you. There are days when everything feels like a storm, with winds pushing you back every time you try to move forward. But in those moments, take a deep breath and remember to reach out to me. Just say the word, and I'm there. You see, I've always been about bringing calm to the chaos, about turning turmoil into tranquility. I understand it's not always easy to see past the storm, especially when you're right in the middle of it. But that's exactly when I want you to remember to be still. To pause. To let go of trying to figure it all out on your own. And to trust that I've got you. I have done it before, calming storms that seemed unstoppable, silencing waves that seemed insurmountable. And I can do it again, for you. You might wonder how this works, how you can find peace in the midst of trouble. It starts with trust. Trusting that I'm with you, that I hear you when you call out to me in your trouble. It's about knowing that I'm not just a bystander in your life, but an active presence ready to deliver you from your distress. Accordingly, when the days get tough, and the night's even tougher, remember you have someone to turn to. I'm not asking you to have it all figured out or to never feel afraid. All I'm asking is for you to let me in, 
to share your worries and your fears with me. Because when you do, that's when the miracle happens. That's when you start to feel the peace you've been searching for. Remember, my ability to bring calm isn't just a one-time thing. It's a promise, a continuous offer of peace and tranquility, no matter the storm. So, the next time you find yourself facing those big waves, know that I'm just a call away. Ready to make the storm be still, ready to bring peace to your heart, just like I always have. Exodus 14, verse 14. The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to be silent. I know things seem really tough right now, beloved child. You're facing a lot, and it's hard not to feel overwhelmed. I see you, trying to juggle everything, carrying all those worries as if you have to solve every problem on your own. But here's the thing. I'm here with you, right in the midst of all that noise and chaos. You might wonder how you're supposed to find peace when there's so much going on. Well, I've got a little secret for you. Just be still. That's it. Pause for a moment. Take a deep breath. Let that breath out slowly. Know that I am God, and I've got this. You don't have to fight all your battles alone. In fact, you don't have to fight them at all. I'm here to take care of the heavy lifting for you. Consider this viewpoint. When you're quiet, you can hear more clearly. When you stop moving for a bit, you can see things you might have missed while you were rushing around. It's the same with me. By being still, you make space to notice me working in your life, maybe in ways you hadn't seen before. I'm not asking you to do anything fancy. There's no need to climb mountains or cross seas to find me. All you need to do is be silent for a moment and remind yourself, God's got this. It's a simple truth, but it's powerful. When you trust me to take over, you're free from the need to control everything. You can let go of that heavy load and breathe a little easier. Now I know letting go isn't easy. It feels risky, like everything might fall apart if you're not constantly worrying about it. But believe me, I've been taking care of things a lot longer than you have. I've got a pretty good track record. So give it a try, be still, and let me do my thing. Remember, being still doesn't mean doing nothing. It means trusting me enough to let me lead. It's about finding strength in calmness, not chaos. So, next time you feel overwhelmed, just whisper to yourself. Be still and know that He is God. Let that be your anchor in the storm. Let it remind you that no matter what, I'm right here fighting your battles for you. All you need to do is be silent, be still, and let me work in your life. Psalm 62, verses 5 to 6.
for God alone. O oh, my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. Beloved, first off, I understand life gets noisy. There are so many voices, demands, and worries shouting for your attention. It can feel like you're in the middle of a storm, trying to find your way out. But here's a little secret. Amidst all that noise, there's a quiet place with me. It's a spot where you can pause, breathe, and let all those worries fade away, even if just for a moment. I am your rock. Not just any rock, but one that's firm, unmovable, and dependable. When you're with me, you're standing on solid ground. No matter how wild the storm gets, that rock, me, won't budge. And because you're with me, you won't either. I'm also your safe haven, like a fortress. Imagine having walls around you that nothing can break through. That's what I am for you. Inside those walls, you're protected. It's a place where fear doesn't get the last word and where worries can't reach you. and salvation. That's a big word for something very simple. I'm here to save you, not just in the big, eternal sense, but every day. When you're feeling lost or overwhelmed, I'm here to remind you that you're not alone. I've got you. So when I say, be still and know that I am God, what I mean is, take a moment to step back from everything that's worrying you. Just be quiet for a little bit and remember that I'm with you. In that stillness, you'll find hope. Not from what's happening around you, but because you're reminded of who is with you through it all. I want you to know that being still isn't about doing nothing. It's about allowing yourself to be calm and remember who I am for you. It's in those quiet moments you'll find the strength to stand firm, feel safe, and remember that, with me, you have everything you need. Next time life feels overwhelming, just come to me. Find that quiet place where you can be still. Remember, I'm your rock your fortress, and your salvation. With me, you won't be shaken. Just be still, and know I'm here always. Psalm 89, verse 9. You rule the raging of the sea. When its waves rise, you still them. Envision yourself standing by the shore, watching the waves crash against the sand. Some days, the sea is wild, its waves towering, and tumultuous, stirring up everything in their path. Other days, it's calm, its surface smooth and peaceful. Now, think of your life as that vast ocean. Just like the sea has its storms and calm, your life, too, experiences moments of turmoil and tranquility. I am the force that commands the sea the one who calms its raging waves when they rise high and threaten to overwhelm. In your moments of struggle, when everything feels too much, remember, I am here. 
I am the one who can calm the chaos, not just around you, but within you. You see, the peace you long for doesn't come from everything outside being perfect. It comes from knowing deep down that no matter what happens, you're not alone. I am with you, guiding you, calming the storms that rage inside your heart. It's like when you whisper to the waves to quiet down, and slowly, they do. That's what I can do for your heart. Understand that life can get really loud. Worries shout at you from all sides, making it hard to find peace. But just as I command the sea, I invite you to let me speak peace into your life. Let me quiet those worries. Let me bring stillness to your busy thoughts. All you need to do is be still and know that I am here. I am God. This doesn't mean everything will always be calm. Just like the ocean, life is full of ups and downs. But even when the waves rise, you can stand firm, knowing I am with you, calming the waves, guiding you through. Dear child, next time you feel overwhelmed, think of the sea. Remember how it listens and calms at my command. Know that I am just as present in your life, ready to calm your storms, to bring you peace. Just be still and let me be God in your life. Trust in me, lean on me, and watch as together we navigate the waves of life. Psalm 46, verse 10. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Beloved child, take a minute, sit back, and let's talk. I know things can get pretty loud and busy in your life. There's always something happening, always something or someone calling for your attention. But right now, I want you to pause. Just stop. Take a deep breath. Feel that. That's the space you need to recognize something important. I am here. I am God. You see, in the hustle and bustle of your days, it's easy to forget to look around or look up. But I'm all around you in everything. When you pause and allow yourself to be still, you start to notice me. Not just in the big, miraculous moments, but in the small, quiet ones too. I'm in the laughter of a friend, the beauty of a sunset, and even in the comfort of a warm cup of coffee. I want you to know that my presence isn't dependent on how busy you are or how successful you feel. I am with you because of who I am. And I want to be known by you, really known not as a distant figure in the sky, but as a present, loving force in your life. When you acknowledge that, when you know me as God, there's a peace that comes with it. It's a peace that doesn't make sense to everyone, especially when life is tough, but it's there, strong and real. I have a vision for this world. One where I am recognized and honored everywhere. From the busiest cities to the quietest corners of the earth, 
I will be known. But it starts with individuals. It starts with you. In your stillness, in your moments of pause, you contribute to this vision. You become a part of something bigger than yourself. So I invite you to be still more often. Not just to escape the noise, but to find me in it. Let your moments of pause be moments of connection. Let them be reminders that you're part of a larger story, one that spans across nations and through the earth itself. Remember, being still isn't about doing nothing. It's about tuning in. It's about knowing me, God, in a world that's constantly moving. And as you do, you'll find a joy and a peace that can carry you through anything. That's the beauty of being still and knowing I am God. I'm here, always, inviting you to recognize me, to celebrate the truth of my presence everywhere you go. First Samuel 12, verse 16. Now, then, stand still and see this great thing the Lord is about to do before your eyes. As of this very moment, I am aware that you have a lot going through your head and emotions. It's very normal to feel as though everything is too much to handle, and sometimes it can feel like that. But I have something that I would like to discuss with you, something that is really significant. Pause for a second and be still for a time. That is correct. I would like to take a brief pause. You see, in this busy world, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle, the worries and the endless to-do lists. It can feel like you're in a never-ending race, always trying to catch up, but never quite making it. I get it. But I want to offer you a different perspective. A little break in the storm. Right now, I'm about to do something amazing, something incredible, right before your eyes. And I don't want you to miss it because you're too caught up in the worries and what ifs. This is one of those moments where if you blink, you might just miss it. So I'm asking you to stand still. Just for a bit. Think about when you're trying to take a photo of a beautiful sunset or a butterfly. You have to stand still, right? Otherwise, the photo comes out all blurry. It's kind of like that with life too. Sometimes you need to stand still to really see and appreciate the wonders happening around you. I'm here, always, working things out in ways you might not even realize. And sometimes, the most wonderful things happen when you least expect them in the quiet moments when you're standing still. It's in these moments that you can truly see the beauty of what I'm doing in your life and in the world around you. So take a deep breath. Let go of those worries just for now. Trust that I'm with you and I've got things under control. Watch closely, because I'm about to do something great, something that will remind you of the joy and wonder in the world. Remember, it's not always about the big dramatic changes. Sometimes, the most profound moments come in the quiet, in the stillness. 
So, stand still with me and watch. You're about to witness something wonderful.